Welcome back to NewHavenChargers.com. Joined by the head coach of the New Haven men's basketball team, Ted Hotelling, taking the Chargers up to Manchester, New Hampshire this weekend for the NCAA championship. Coach, first of all, congratulations. And what does it mean to you and to the program to be headed to the NCAA tournament? Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, you know, it's a great feeling. Uh, really happy for our guys, um, especially for guys who've been in the program over the last three years. Um, you know, it didn't look so good. Maybe our first year we won eight wins, but uh, as we've gradually improved, it's great to see uh, the results that they've achieved, and um, you know, really excited for them. Happy to have an opportunity to play in um, in the event, um, but really uh, excited for the program as well. And coach, it's been a little while since uh, we've been able to sit down and talk. Let's go back to the end of the regular season. Right. Eric Anderson, Defensive Player of the Year, second team along with Justin Exum and Jeff Adkins on the third team. Talk about those honors. Yeah, first of all, Eric's had a great, great sophomore season. He's really developed since we've uh, since uh, since the beginning of last year. I do think the Defensive Player of the Year award is um, great for him, but also a great achievement for our team. Uh, I do think we've become one of the better teams in the region defensively um, with all the numbers that you look at. Obviously, he's a big part of that, but I think our team shares in that award more than anything. And um, obviously, when you're 6'8", 230, and very intelligent, um, he's very good on the perimeter now, which he's improved on with his lateral quickness and his speed. He protects the rim, um, and he's, I think, the best defensive rebounder in the country. Um, you know, he cleans up a lot of mistakes. Um, so it's really happy for him. And then really happy for Jeff, Justin, and Eric to be selected on the second team. Um, you know, Justin's had a great career since he's been here. You know, cracked the top 20 in scoring by the end of the year at the, at the University of New Haven. Um, Jeff has developed really, really well since his freshman year. Um, and it's really nice to see that all their hard work is rewarded. And I'm happy that the coaches, um, you know, reward them with those selections. Northeast 10 championship uh, hosted Southern New Hampshire, a tough overtime loss. Obviously right. not what you were hoping for, but yeah. what are the pros and cons? You've, you'll have had 12 days off by the time you take the court on Saturday. Yeah, you know, I, I do think our guys were um, disappointed with the result. I thought we played well. We just didn't play well enough maybe the last five minutes to, uh, to close out the game. But Southern New Hampshire obviously has gone on a great run here, won the conference championship. Um, so we did play against a good team. It has given us some time just to work on some things, um, just some things that we've been doing all year. We've had about two weeks of practice, uh, which is great for coaches, maybe not as great for players. Um, but we've had a chance to get a lot of rest, too. You know, we've had a lot of off days and, um, you know, played a lot, uh, looked, worked on some special situations. Um, so it's been, it's been a good situation uh, where we can just sharpen the saw, um, you know, just kind of revisit some things that uh, we need to tighten up. And obviously it has given us a chance to prepare for uh, this weekend in the NCAA tournament. So Saturday, your opponent is Dominican, one of the three teams in the region you haven't already seen this year. Uh, what's the basic scouting report on them, and what does your team need to do well in particular? Yeah, I, I think this time of year, you know, we're going to face a good team in the NCAA tournament. Dominican is uh, obviously very, very good. They've been in the top 25 the majority of the year. Um, but, um, you know, for us right now, it's really we're just focusing on ourselves, um, trying to, you know, tighten some things up defensively, um, and then trying to just improve offensively with just some of our reads and sets. Um, and then looking at Dominican, they're obviously very, very talented, very good, have good balance inside and out, uh, have a very good guard that scores points and a very good big guy that scores points. So as we kind of delve further into the film, uh, we'll put some things together here over the next couple of days and uh, prepare to uh, play them on Saturday. And obviously the focus is Dominican, but the way this tournament is set up, you could have games on back-to-back -back days or three games in four days. Does right. that change anything in the way you prepare for the weekend? Not really. You know, we're just preparing to win on Saturday, and then I think every team is in the same situation. There's a lot of familiarity in the, uh, in the field right now with, with the eight teams. Um, so with familiarity, you know, there's not as much, uh, you know, new scouting to do, but uh, we are just focused on Saturday. You know, we're going to put all of our effort into um, competing against Dominican, and then once that game is done, if we're fortunate enough to move on, we'll move on to the next opponent. I think sometimes when you look at the field of eight, you know, you're only going to see three teams if you're fortunate enough to move on, so you don't have to scout all eight. Uh, so we'll just take it game by game, and uh, it's pretty hard to look ahead uh, not knowing who you may play uh, if you are fortunate enough to win. Coach, good luck this weekend. Looking forward to it. Thanks so much.